seek Yahweh early in the night, in the middle of the day. This is important. The Bible talks about this. Joshua 1, 8 through 9 reads this, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way successful, and then you will be prosperous. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be in dread or be dismayed. For Yahweh, your God, is with you wherever you go. <sighs> Meditate on it, day and night. Okay, This was talking about the Torah. Okay, This is from the book of Joshua. But, come on now. You also know it's, it's talking about the word of the Lord. It's talking about the word of God. And the Torah is a part of that. Praise the Lord. There is power, seeking him day and night before you go to bed, to get rid of stupid dreams, to get of temptation that might try and come against you at night. There is power when you read the word, you pray, you get up early in the morning. We're going to continue to read on. With my soul, have I desired thee in the night? Yea, with my spirit within me, will I seek thee early? For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Isaiah 26, 9. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. Before that, with my soul have I desired thee in the night. Do you desire God in the night, in the morning? Do you yearn for him? Are you a real born-again Christian? Doesn't just say on... Saturday or Sunday or Wednesday, <sighs> morning, noon, night, afternoon. Come on now. This is talking about Jesus in the book of Mark. And in, and in the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus rose up, went out of the house, and went away to a desolate place and was praying there. This is talking about Jesus. It says, and in the early morning, while it was still while it was still dark, Jesus got up, he went to a desert place, prayed there, praying there to the Father, okay? Psalm 5 3. O Yahweh, in the morning you will hear my voice. In the morning I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. Another translation I, I think says, I I'll look up. Look up. Psalm fifty five seventeen. Evening and morning, and at noon, will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Praise God. Praise God. Evening and morning and at noon. There's just it's powerful. It really is actually not even powerful. It's necessary in a Christian walk. Especially if you're mature, it is necessary. You need to seek Yahweh in the morning. You need to get up, force yourself to get up, okay? The Proverbs talks about the slothful, the sluggard, turning on his bed, not even able to get up, not even able to get work, laziness. You need to get up, stop being lazy, seek Yahweh, seek the Son, seek the Holy Spirit, get filled with the Holy Spirit, seek Him in the morning, in the eve in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, when it's dark. Seek him in the morning before the sun has risen. If you're able, come on. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's something that I definitely need. You know, I'm preaching to myself. I need to get up. I need to seek him at night, in the morning, consistently. Not have this, you know, little thing. This back and forth. You need. I need to be consistent. Pray for me. If you're a saint of God, pray for me. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. Thank you so much. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen. Praise the King.